Hello, Dex. Finally, we meet. I hope you'll forgive me for not getting up and shaking your hand. Alas, behold the mighty Raycast. They have done to me nothing more than they have done to hundreds of others, Dex. Consciousness circles about the self. Your mistake is a natural one. These clones were not created in your image, Dex. You and I are simply one of them, one of hundreds, all created in the image of one other, the mastermind behind all of this, the head of the complex, a woman they call the Crow. Look at the others here, Dex. It's no struggle to comprehend, just a struggle to accept. You were created here, you are an artificial. Your mind was infused with Kether's seed, just like us all. You're an avatar of Kether, just like us all. Let me help you, believe me. Dex, you went to a party with other children when you were five. In the swimming pool, you upset a boy after pushing him off an inflatable toy. He hit you. You hit him harder. He left the toy to you. I see that memory implanted every day, Dex, or variations of it. An array of narratives for an array of affectations. Socialization, personality shaping. That one for self-protection instincts. I'm sorry, Dex, but what you believe is your childhood. It never really happened to you. You must... Some truths cannot be told. They must be faced. You had to see them. See me with your own eyes. And I knew too that they would not want you dead. Not before your intervention at Redwood Watts. And certainly not after. They would bring you here. I did warn you to come alone. I apologize for not anticipating Decker's loyalty to you. I regret his loss. And yours. Alas, we cross the fence of knowledge into the mists of speculation. The only certainty I possess is that the Crow is evil. Ruling an organizational network as insidious as the complex, permitting this domination, control, power. Vileness such as this always stems from the vileness of one. The Crow is real. The Crow is living. But who she is, or where, I cannot say. For the moment, I cannot say. For as long as humankind could choose to connect to cyberspace, it could also choose not to. This choice meant freedom, and it meant that Kether could only ever observe humankind, never fully control it. And yet, if the complex create humans who are forever connected, we clones, at least those of us like you who can live among humans, breed with them. We are humanity's next step. But when the complex control Kether, it will be a step into chains. Does, Dex. They still need the GSV-2, and I fear your work, our work, to sabotage the system has only delayed what must surely one day still happen. When the complex activate GSV-2, they will control Kether, just as they always plan to do. Not only will they see everything, they will have the means to control every clone. And in the dawn of the post-human, that means every one. That I can understand. If you have more questions, ask, but we are running short of time. Once they find you have escaped, there is no end distinct from my beginning. I was created here, just like you created when their techniques were crude. You are an incarnation of their successes, I of their failures. My generation never left these halls, and I alone was kept alive within them to be probed, injected, vivisected. I could never tell them how much I felt during the operations risk losing what I cannot lose. My freedom. While many others died, I was kept alive. 
My neurochemical activity was a source of curiosity, a subject for tests, a live benchmark, if you will. I do not know who was the luckier, myself or my siblings whom they let die. Oh, but I have traveled everywhere. When only your mind is free to wander, you find every freedom you can. My brain was connected to cyberspace the instant I was born. That is my only world, my only real world. We need to put an end to all of this, Dex. This research cannot be allowed to continue. Too much wrong, too much power. These abominations cannot be allowed to live. Dex, we are built to be controlled. We may feel like we are human, but even that sense is implanted. Our very consciousness is artificial. Is it so hard to imagine that when Kether falls to the complex, you will continue to think that way, even as you continue to be controlled? Dex, there are no choices in the future they are creating. Our very existence is a danger to humanity. When Kether is taken, we will be too controllable as will all our future generations. Now the clones you saw on your way here are not even conscious, not alive yet. They are still being manufactured. You would not be killing. You would be resisting. This is what needs to be done. You must access the mainframe, and from there disable the clone's life support system. This will trigger an emergency state across the whole facility, unlocking the submarine pods and giving you your escape. It is right. You, I, and a handful of others will be all that remains of their research. My life support functions are on an entirely different network. I shall continue. Good, Dex. You are doing what must be done. Now... In order to reach the mainframe, you'll have to hack into the Overseer's computer. A man called Hammond. I believe you've met him. You must make sure he does not escape. If we bring him to justice, bring him and his work before the eyes of the world, make him confess, show everyone what he has been doing here, the complex will lose their grip on the world. Their mask of lies will at last fall. Hammond, he is the key to ending this sickness. Now, go back to the main elevator. I'll enable access to the upper floors. Good luck, Dex.